Now that the storm is beginning to depart the region, we take a peek at the week ahead in the wake of the storm. The winds really kicking up and they'll be around tomorrow as well to be a rather blustery start to the week. Our temperatures in the low and mid 40s and there may actually be a few snow flurries in the air as well. Then a bit of a warm up is on the way. Our temperatures could reach the 50s on Wednesday before another shot of Arctic air arrives later in the week. And right now some uncertainty. There may be development of another system to our south between about Friday and Sunday and is very iffy at this point, but the potential is there for a little bit more winter weather. Oh, here we go. All right, storm system now just north of us now right around Fredericksburg tracking up I-95. There's the swath of snow that's affecting parts of Pennsylvania and New York State tonight going all the way back into eastern Ohio as well. We're pretty much done with this road conditions pretty much wet, but there'll be a few areas that are freezing or below in the morning. So watch out for some slick spots, especially west of I-95. The precipitation again exiting the area in terms of the wind has been gusting to 40 50 miles an hour along the coast. Latest gust at Norfolk International at 40 and in Petersburg, we've had a gust to about 20 miles an hour. There are wind advisories in effect here to the north of us, a high wind warning along the Blue Ridge and a wind advisory along the coast. That's where we may see some coastal flooding and there are advisories and warnings in effect along the coast. The water about one to two feet above ground, especially at time of high tide. Right now, 40 degrees in town. That's the high for the day. Look at the wind busy out of the southwest at about 20 miles an hour. And uh, overnight temperatures are going to drop back into the mid 30s on average in the metro. So I think we stay above freezing. But notice some readings around the freezing mark just outside of Richmond. So there may be some slick spots, especially bridges and overpasses. Be aware of that. And highs tomorrow, upper 30s to the north, lower 40s to the south. We saw some accumulating snow here, generally two to four inches, a few higher amounts well to the west. And of course, we had sleet and freezing rain. It's caused some icing issues to the west. Goochland, Powhatan, down through Farmville and all the way to South Hill. This is a peek at the temperatures for the week ahead and Wednesday stands out as the warm day. Real cold coming in Friday and Saturday. Temperatures may hover near the freezing mark. Overnight tonight, Precipitation is gone. The clouds break up a little bit in the morning for sunshine and then fill back in in the afternoon. Maybe a few flurries passing on by on gusty westerly winds. We clear out for Tuesday. It looks like a really nice day. Lots of sunshine. A few more clouds come in on Wednesday, but it turns mild. That's the nice day with temperatures maybe into the mid 50s. Overnight, the wind kicks up a bit. Some clearing late as the precipitation that is lingering to the north lifts out of the area. 34 degrees in RVA, but some 20s off to the north and west of town, and that's where the slick spots will continue early tomorrow morning. I think the metro is fine tomorrow on the roads. We're up to 41 degrees by lunchtime. Sunshine in the morning, clouds in the afternoon. May see a passing flurry during the afternoon hours, and it's a chilly Tuesday morning. A lot of bright sunshine, seasonably cool Tuesday afternoon. We jump into the 50s on Wednesday, maybe a few showers that might turn to a few wet flakes overnight Wednesday into Thursday, and we'll be watching closely between Friday and Sunday for the potential of maybe another coastal system.